Seven o'clock, call the meeting to order the business meeting of October, excuse me, September 19th. And as it is our business meeting, Um, up here on the combo, and we do have generators, but they don't run everything. Uh, something that was mentioned to me a couple of years ago by Central Hudson, because the lines do come through the woods and they're a real pain in the neck for them to deal with, is gee golly whiz, maybe we could work out some kind of deal to, um, to reroute the power and bring it up from town. So we've got construction going on. We figured it was a great time to do that. We approached Central Hudson. They've agreed to actually supply the, the wire and the transformer. Um, and in the meantime, since we're going to be digging, um, we're also um, going to run a water line to bring town water up to the building here. So that uh, work is going to start in the next couple of weeks. Uh, highway is going to do all the digging, so there won't be a great expense. And um, we haven't had any changes in the project yet, so I feel pretty comfortable about that. Um, we do have sulfur water here, so we're not able to drink that. The uh, town water will be drinkable and actually we'll be able to get rid of the bottle of water at that point, which uh, is a benefit. Um, I think that was pretty much it. I do have a question. Sure. When, when you're running the, the water and the electric, which I think is a fabulous idea, is there any interest in running the spectrum, the spectrum and the Bison here? Is there so, any? So what, what spectrum, we, we did uh, ask them to get involved and take a look at it, and they sent us an estimate for $25,000. Oh, and nice. we said, leave it in the woods. And I said, in two years, when Archtop is here, we'll, we'll have oh, them cool. bury it up the driveway. So uh, I think we can wait for that. The, the, the thing I will say about the spectrum line, even though it comes through the same woods, it is a hardier line and it's less likely to break. Uh, I don't think we've had an outage due to them coming through the woods like we do with the electric. Okay. But yeah, we anticipate that at some point. We'll also put an extra conduit or two in, in the cool. trench. And so you can run more if you need to later. Yes, yeah. Okay. And I think they're gonna take two or three trees we, we, the easement permits this. We met with the uh, Land Conservancy. Uh, we have to stay within 30 feet of the center line of the road, um, which is not a huge problem. Uh, fortunately, fortunately, there were two, only two trees in the way that would, would make that difficult, and they're both dead. Mm -hmm. One is the pine tree back over my uh, right shoulder, mm -hmm. and the other uh, down the way. I think by the historical society is a is a maple tree that's not in great shape. So, yeah. any did, questions? Yeah. Did you say there had been no changes yet? Uh, no, none that added any cost. No. Bill, are you taking any questions from the public? No. 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 Just a. Can't participate in this. It was just a quick announcement. That's all, well, Michael. I've got Thank a question. you. I think it's relevant. Like to bring it up. You can ask it in public. Be heard, Michael. Thank okay, you. Okay, can I be put on public? Yes, you're on. Uh, and with that, I'll go to the Bear Task Force. Thank you. Okay. This is random, not complaints. Thank you. And a couple 
so that you get an example of what we want to distribute to um, our youth. So hi, everybody. My name is Anula Cordes. I'm the chairperson of the Woodstock Bear Task Force. And I'm here with some other members of the task force, um, Melanie Moreno and Rachel Jackson and uh, the supervisor. Um, so I'm here tonight to give you uh, an update on what we've been doing. But first, a little bit of background. The Woodstock Bear Task Force was formed to advocate for more peaceful human and bear interactions. On June 2nd of this year, the DEC approached the supervisor because Woodstock had the most complaints about bears in our county. The supervisor's office immediately posted on Facebook announcing that a task force was being formed and volunteers were needed. Nine people are part of this task force and our first official meeting took place on July 19th of this year. You may be aware that the town of Woodstock is facing increasing levels of bear and human related conflicts. Last year, the DEC received at least 50 reports of bear related conflicts from our residents. <coughs> And though the majority of these reports were associated with bears accessing um, trash cans or bird feeders, there were also nine instances of bears breaking into homes. Once a bear enters a home and obtains food, it is more likely to enter a home a second time, creating a significant public safety concern. Um, because of this, six of these bears had to be euthanized by the DEC staff and in one instance, a homeowner shot and killed the bear themselves after they entered their home. These more serious instances, such as bears breaking into homes, are often the culmination of bears either intentionally or unintentionally being allowed access to human-derived food sources for a long period of time. Again, usually trash or bird feeders. Often people view a bear getting into their trash or bird feeder as a minor convenience, but the reality is that it can lead to a progression of behavior that may result in more serious conflicts with people, with property. And, and I wanna mention um, that intentional feeding of bears is an unnecessary and wholly selfish act that will ultimately prove detrimental to that bear. So the challenges that we're facing, they're not really unique to Woodstock, they're not even unique to New York State. Um, other communities have found that the most effective way to alleviate these bear related issues is through outreach, education, legislation and community involvement aimed at addressing the attractants that bring bears close to our homes and our communities. So to the update part of this, um, what we've done since our first meeting, and I also want to give you a little preview of what we're planning next. The task force came up with a strategy for education, outreach, legislation, and community involvement. Um, we created a Facebook page so that people could be informed by <coughs> educational, material, educational materials, um, they can learn like what the task force has planned, what events we're participating in, and they can use our page as a way to easily share information about bears and, and how to interact with them. Um, we finalized leaflets. So you have a sampling of these leaflets that we're going to use for education and outreach. And we leveraged the materials from Bearwise, but we also went the extra step to ensure that our materials have the DEC logo on them. And what this does is it really does ensure that our materials are relevant to our community and that they are the, the best, most updated um, documents for, um, for our community. These materials are written in, in English for English speakers. Um, they're written for Spanish speakers. And they even have a, an example here um, of something for uh, our youth. So they've got games and, and coloring materials that really teach them um, at an early age how to interact with bears and how not to interact with bears. We attended one farm festival event and the community responded very well. The DEC provided us with a bear skull, which was a rather large, um, the kids liked it a lot. So there was a mini show and tell. I, I, I actually wanna say the adults might have liked it more than the kids. <laughs> um, but it, it showed, um, we had a chance to explain how a bear is aged, how the DEC can tell how old that bear is. And we had a great time discussing thoughts about bear human interactions with people of all ages. Kids were coming by the table, they took these coloring materials, they took mazes. Um, and it seemed that every single Woodstocker had at least one or two bear stories. And they, they stood around the table sharing it, which was really, really very nice. Um, the event was successful. Um, we actually have folks who want to join our task force, which is nice. So when we 
we look at expanding, if, if we look at expanding, um, we've got a line of folks who want to participate. <laughs> and the DEC requested permission to post pictures of our Woodstock event on their Facebook pages as an example to other communities. So I, I feel very proud of the work that our task force has done. And they, uh, we sent them those pictures, Yes, correct? yes, so they have those pictures okay. and they're going to use it on Facebook and other materials. Um, and, and they felt that it was such a fun event for them too. And, and so productive that this will be a model for other communities. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and we also met with the Environmental Commission. Um, so we believe that our work is going to intersect with theirs. And we request that as issues arise in their court, that they're going to help make us aware of opportunities for us to provide educational outreach and to provide part in um, uh, to basically have a seat at the table when relevant and when decisions need to be made. Um, and we ask for their support for one other thing. Uh, we will be coming back to you all next month and we're going to request that you implement new legislation. So a mini preview, um, we will be at the Scarecrow Festival on October 14th. We will have a table and the DC will join us. Um, we are planning to go to the Woodstock Elementary School to teach students about bears later this year, early next year. We plan to work with the town to host an informative event at the community center, date TBD. Um, we will post Fairwise and DEC materials in various businesses in town. So we're thinking about places like um, maybe the pet food store and some other common areas so people could read that, particularly visitors. Um, next month, um, we will be returning to the town board. We will be seeking some legislation because we're partnering with you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to request that every Airbnb in town provide their guests access to a bear resistant trash can. We're gonna ask that they are required to post <laughs> the bear wise DEC materials in a visible place so that guests don't feed bears leading to us having to euthanize those bears. And we will also come back and request that some other businesses in town be required to have bear resistant trash containers, including hotels, apartment buildings and restaurants. Um, in case you all don't know about BearWise, I want to give them um, a 60 second kind of uh, plug because they really are the foundation of everything that you're looking at. They were developed by state agency bear biologists who wanted to make sure that no matter where people lived, played or traveled, they got the same consistent messaging about coexisting with bears. And today, this BearWise program is managed by a team of North American bear biologists and communications professionals, and they're supported by the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies and uh, BearWise member states, which, as far as I know, is almost every state at this point. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having us. Find you on Facebook. You didn't say anything. Um, Woodstock <laughs> Bear Task Force. <laughs> that simple. Thank you. And maybe we'll post that tomorrow on the town Facebook just to, okay. to let folks Absolutely. know. Thank you. Well, we look forward to seeing you in a month or so. Yes, thank you. On to some resolutions. Be resolved to accept minutes for meetings held on August 15th, 17th, and September 12th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved to accept the town clerk's report. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved to authorize payment of vouchers in the amounts of $600,446.92. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved to authorize transfers for transfer sheet. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Whereas William Spencer has completed and passed state code enforcement courses, therefore be resolved to promote William Spencer to grade five code enforcement officer at a rate of $28.94 per hour, effective September 18th, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And thank you. Congratulations, William yeah. Spencer. And congratulations. You. And, you know, just uh, an FYI, so he still needs to pass a civil service test for the BI. And BIs, we, we the official BIs, or grade six. So as soon as that's done, you'll, um, there's another promotion in the wings. Cool. Be resolved to hire Anthony Ferrante, MEO grade three, at an hourly rate of 2421, effective October 2nd, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Whereas SRMBKLC, formerly Marina's Bazaar, 21 Mill Hill Road, Woodstock, New York, 12498, is in compliance with the alcohol beverage control law, section 64, subdivision 2A, has notified this municipality of their intent to file application for an on premises liquor license with New York State. Should be an E in there. Liquor authority, and whereas this property is currently in compliance with all local laws, does not have any violations at this time, therefore be it resolved to waive, in this instance, the 30 day period to review said application and consent to the issuing of the liquor license to the above named applicant. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Whereas Nirvana Indian Cuisine, LLC, for Demon Street, Woodstock, New York, 12498. Is in compliance with the alcohol beverage control, <clears throat> control law section 64 subdivision 2A, has notified this municipality of their intent to file application for an on premises liquor license with the New York State Liquor Authority. And whereas this property is currently in compliance with local laws and does not have any violations at this time, therefore be resolved to waive in this instance the 30 day period to the review of said application and consent to the issuing of a liquor license from the above named applicants. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're just determined that the water sewer, by the water sewer, water sewer superintendent, that the water 111 Tinker Street account uh, 970231 did not enter the wastewater collection system, but rather into the ground, therefore be it resolved to charge the sewer the average amount charged in the previous four quarters and credit the remaining sewer charge to the account sewer portion of the subsequent billings. Be a further resolved to charge the full amount for water usage. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Whereas the town of Woodstock is applying to the Hudson, Valley, <coughs> Hudson River Valley Greenway for a grant under the Hudson River Valley Greenway, boy, that's also a tongue twister for me. Planning grant program for a project entitled Town of Woodstock Como Property Trails Restoration to be located in the town of Woodstock. Now, therefore, be resolved that Woodstock Town Board authorizes the supervisor to sign the application for site grant through the Hudson Valley, Hudson River Valley Greenway Planning Grant Program. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Because yes. some grants are a matching grant, some grants you just get the money. So that one I, I believe is matching, but it could be labor, volunteer labor. Oh. Actually, both of these uh, have some component of that. Perfect. So, okay. whereas the town of Woodstock is applying to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation for a grant under the Organics Reduction and Recycling Program for a project entitled Municipal Food, Food Scraps Recycling Initiative should be located in the town of Woodstock. Now, therefore, be resolved, Woodstock Town Board authorizes the supervisor to sign the application for site grant through the Organics Reduction and Recycling Program. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, public be heard. Fanny, you're up. Okay. Two minutes. Oh. We'll go back to, to just real quickly the, um, the, the document oh, you sent. Okay, sure. But no, you, we'll do public be heard. You're up now, Phil. Okay, so um, you see, on this meeting, we would like to have it on the local access TV. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that watch that program. People don't go to YouTube to look at this thing. But there are some that go and some that don't, that, that come, some people mm -hmm. that really like the local access TV and they can watch everything there. I think we have to go back to that. You can have that too, mm -hmm. plus we can have, you know, somebody recording like Tom mm -hmm. or somebody else. Or maybe you. Maybe, okay. yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do it. You got my good side? <laughs> Do you have what? Should I turn around? <laughs> so I would really like that. Like the thing that she just brought with the bears. I think it's very important for people to know that. And so if people, you know, will be watching on the TV. And that program, you know, goes for the a whole week mm -hmm. when you know the the whole the, the town board meeting. Right. So I think it's very important that we. I did talk we, with Ellen the other day about it, and we're we're going to look into getting the camera back. Yeah, in. but I I wouldn't like it to take another whole year. 
Absolutely. I okay. Something maybe Bennett and I will talk about it later in the week and maybe you and, and Ellen could sit down with the two of us. Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Fanny. Michael? Yeah, you were talking about burying the water and the power line down yes. to uh, Tinker Street. And you said that you've lost power up here. Has the power loss that you've experienced, uh, is it been identified as being the wiring that comes through the frequency? Yes. Yeah. Not all the time, but frequently. Because we've all lost power. Yes. The other thing, uh, have you... So, so that's a very difficult... If, if, just to answer your question, uh, if you did pose a question, um, that comes up through the woods and it's very difficult for them to get to, too. So when the line does break between here and the stream, they frequently have to bring in an enormous articulated tractor type machine okay, well, to get down in there. So, right, and that takes time. Great, I understand, but um, I, you know, I do walk the trails mm -hmm. and I see no signs of any articulated anything <coughs> going on down there. Um, Not do, all the did time. you actually have a, a power break? Did you have a break in the line this year? <laughs> Numerous times, yeah. Numerous times, yeah. Uh, not, not just this year. I mean, we're going back three or four years. Um, I I was coming up Glasgow and I, I witnessed... Um, Why would you not want to get the wires out of the woods anyway? Well, Never mind, sorry. You were coming up Glasgow. I, you pointed to a power loss and we've all lost power in town multiple times right. this year. Right. And, you know, personally, I think the bigger issue is not whether you lose power, but how they can provide power for all of us in town. I think that that's mm -hmm. the message Central Hudson needs to get uh, as that, opposed to that taking be care real, of you. Michael. Um, well, wait, wait a second. Michael, they're not taking care of me. They're taking care of the town offices taking care of so us. that we can I, serve you. Well, at your request. Um, I just wanted to also add that uh, I witnessed on Glasgow, um, you're going to have to go down four feet, right? With the water Correct, line. for the water line, yes. Yeah. And I watched the water line going in at the... Um, the, the new housing development going on over on Glasgow. They're burying everything that's going in for the 12, you know, the 12 Where's brand that? new multi-million dollar I don't think homes going in off of Glasgow. Well, anyway, I they hit solid rock mm -hmm. and they are using a huge piece of machinery to basically hammer the rock to get down four feet mm -hmm. so that they can bury this stuff. Now, have you done soundings out here or borings? We, Do you we know have what done, you can do? Yes, we have done testing. You've done borings. And are you gonna run into one? We now? don't anticipate, no. Okay, well, that's all I had. Good oh, one more thing. Michael. Laura, Ricky, um, the signage committee chair, uh, the uh, Commission on Civic Design is meeting on the green at two o'clock on Saturday, and we're going to look at signs. And you're invited. Oh, okay, so okay. tell me two, two o'clock Saturday at the green. And two I think the whole CCD is going to be there. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think we're going to walk around and CCD do some well. signage uh, stuff. So, thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Well, and I think, and I want to thank Michael and the CCD because they have been joining, and Iris as well, because the sign committee has met several times, and I appreciate that the CCD is, has joined and weighed in. So we're, we're going to, we're looking for a balance. We haven't found the balance yet for certain things, we but, get we, there, though. but we're getting, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're working on it. Not only anybody on, on work, okay. Lori, so you did uh, last week, you talked about norms, codes of conduct. Did you email this to everybody? I, I did. Okay, so yesterday. Right? That's okay. what he asked. Yeah, I think yesterday or the day before. So what I would like us all to do is, is take a look at it in our next meeting. Um, you know, let's weigh in. If you have thoughts beforehand and you want to email around, let's do that. But I will put this on as a topic of discussion for us. All right. Thank you. Yeah, All I'm happy right. to make um, any revisions or if it's better to do, do them publicly in a public discussion, I can do that. Well, we, meeting too. We, we'll definitely have a public discussion on it, but you know, we can get the ball rolling beforehand. That's what I think. Okay, great. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time to do that. No With that, I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Oh, Reggie, you look like you had wanted to talk more. I did. Okay. <laughs> as long as I'm quoted to say, oh.